Dear students, welcome to Mathematics Online classes. In this class, we will study types of vectors. See, uh, in the last class, we come to know about uh, what is vector, direction cosines, direction ratios, direction angles and all those. In this class, uh, we will study types of vectors. So, in that, first one is zero vector zero vector or also it is called as a null vector null means nothing in that see a vector whose magnitude is zero is called as null vector that is all about it a vector definitions are important a vector whose magnitude is zero magnitude is a 0 is called as is called as a null vector or a 0 vector. We are saying about magnitude here. What about the direction sir? Direction can be anything here. Direction can be anything. See direction of a null vector or direction of a 0 vector we say that it is not at all defined. We cannot define it. Means uh, it will be a single point here that is all it will be a single point there we cannot say it is in which direction and all magnitude is completely zero this is one way of saying the definition of a zero vector or how we can say see this is the initial point where is the terminal point terminal point is also here only that is a itself is the terminal point <laughs> means uh, a into a vector is a null vector a into a vector vector a a we can say vector a a or vector b b vector c c these are all what these are all null vector where initial point and a terminal point both get coincide how we using this concept we can write another one definition for a, a zero vector or null vector that is a vector Another one definition I am writing a vector whose whose initial point whose initial point and and terminal point whose initial point and terminal point coincide coincide is called as is called as zero vector or null vector. That's all about it. How will you represent it? We will represent it as a zero vector like this it is representation. Representation is like this zero vector it is like this we need to represent. Magnitude is zero, direction is not defined. This is about first type of vectors that is null vector or a zero vector. Now, we will take second heading that is second type of vectors unit vector unit vector what do you mean by this unit word unit means one so a vector whose magnitude is one is called as unit vector that is all a vector a vector whose magnitude is unity whose magnitude is a unity is called is called as a unit vector that is all about it. See suppose there is a vector starting from point A and uh, ending at point B let me name this as vector A here. See this is a vector this is a vector what is the unit vector in the direction of vector a a unit vector in the direction of vector a will be taken like this unit vector unit vector in the direction of in the direction of vector a is see let me explain that concept see a to b suppose i have three units first unit second unit third unit in the sense let me take magnitude of vector a is equal to 3 units 
magnitude of vector a is equal to 3 units suppose i divide this vector a by 3 units what it will be it will be a 1 unit vector you know it will be a 1 unit vector so a unit vector in the direction of vector a will be represented as a cap which is equal to vector a divided by its magnitude its magnitude hey, see I'm, i have taken an example here 3 units are there it is 3 units length we are dividing by its magnitude vector a is divided by its magnitude how to divide multiplication and all uh, what happens if you divide a vector by a scalar quantity if you uh, what happens if you multiply a vector by a scalar quantity i will say in the next class just i am saying here unit vector in the direction of vector a is represented as a cap this is vector a divided by magnitude of vector a just to remember that it is more than enough and the definition is that a vector whose magnitude is unity is called as unit vector that's all about it that's all about a second type of vector now we will move on to the third type of vector that is co initial vectors third one co co initial vectors co initial word itself says co means a same initial a vector having the same initial point are called as co initial vectors that's all very simple two or more vectors two or more vectors having having same initial point two or more vectors having same initial point are called as are called as co initial vectors very simple it is see suppose there is a point a suppose there is a point a from this point a there are vectors like vector ab which is originating from the point a and there is vector c another one it is ending at the point c means let me name this as vector a this is vector b and this is there is another one point uh, d vector a d let me take this as vector c see here uh, vector a vector b and vector c are starting from a same point starting from same point that means vector a b and c are called as are called as co initial vectors co initial vectors means uh, vectors have the same starting point vectors have same initial point that's all the type of vectors we say as a co initial vectors going to going to fourth type of vectors those are collinear vectors collinear vectors collinear vectors again you see we will go with the word itself what is that word is saying collinear co in the sense of same linear in the sense of line the vectors which are there in the same line irrespective of their magnitude and direction are called as a collinear vectors that's all see suppose there is a line like this suppose there is a line and now i will write other vectors like uh, this is one vector let me take this as vector a and this as vector b there is another one vector like this vector c here i will write another one vector that is vector d if it is 4 unit length let me take 1 unit length 1 unit length and here it is 3 units length like that many vectors we can take only thing what is the similarity between these two similarity between all these vectors is only similarity is parallelism all these vectors are parallel to each other all these vectors are parallel to the each other or else we can say that the vectors having the same line of support vectors having the 
same line of support are called as a collinear vectors. What about its magnitude and direction? Yes, magnitude and direction can be anything here. Magnitude and direction does not matter. See, vector B and vector A, I am taking vector B and vector A are collinear vectors because they are parallel to each other. What about their magnitude? See, this magnitude can be around 4 units, its magnitude is only 1 unit. Magnitude does not matter for collinear vectors. And you see, vector A and vector C, I will take. Vector A and vector C, you observe, both are uh, parallel to the vector B, means both have same line of support, but uh, their uh, directions are what? Directions are totally different. Directions are totally opposite. See, what I am saying here is collinear vectors means uh, two or more, two or more vectors, two or more vectors having, having same line of support same line of support irrespective of their irrespective of their magnitude and direction irrespective of their magnitude and direction are called as are called as collinear vectors are called as collinear vectors. I have to be careful here. Magnitude can be anything, direction can be anything, they have to be parallel to each other that is must and should. Such type of vectors we call collinear vectors. Okay. This is about a collinear vectors. Now we will go to the fifth type of vectors, those are equal vectors fifth one equal vectors what is equal vectors equal in the sense vectors should be equal in both the cases that is two vectors which are equal in magnitude and direction are called as equal vectors that's all see suppose there is a vector a having a magnitude of two units then there is another one vector B having the two units and the same direction, having the two units of magnitude and same direction are called as a equal vectors. But if I consider vector C, you see here vector C it is, vector C has the same direction, but what about its magnitude, its magnitude is different you know. So, A and C are not equal vectors. In the same way B and C are not equal vectors, but if you take A and B vectors, A and B are equal vectors because their magnitude is same and their direction is same. If I write another one vector here having the same magnitude but different direction A and D, A and D are they equal vectors? No, they are not equal vectors, their magnitude is same, their magnitude is same, but the thing is that they are opposite in direction. Hence, a and D are not equal vectors. What is the definition we will write for equal vectors? Two or more vectors, two or more vectors having, having same magnitude, same magnitude and direction. Two or more vectors having the same magnitude and direction are called as are called as equal vectors. Suppose if A and B are equal vectors, then we write vector A is equal to vector B. Once again I am telling you both the quantities should be same, one is vector means direction, another one is a magnitude. Magnitude and direction if both are same, then we say those two vectors are equal. We used to write it as vector A is equal to vector B. Okay, this is about a fifth type of vectors. Now, we will move on to the last type of vectors that is sixth type vector, negative of a vector, negative of a vector, sixth one, negative of a 
negative of a vector means name itself we can say negative of a vector negative is defined only for particular vectors see if a b is a vector if a b is a vector where it is starting from a and uh, ending at uh, b a b is a vector and b a if i consider what happens here b a if i consider this is a vector this is a vector having the same magnitude a b will be having two units in the sense uh, b a will be having the two units only magnitude will be same but what is different among them different uh, thing is that they are totally opposite in direction it is from a to b then b a is b to a a vector say b a it is how will you write the definition a vector having the same magnitude as that of given vector and but opposite direction but opposite direction as that of given vector is called as negative of the given vector once again i am telling you a vector having the a vector having the same magnitude but different direction as that of given vector is called as negative of the given vector ab is a vector its negative will be ba that's all negative vector of negative vector of negative vector of vector ab is a ba and are they equal how we can write the equality see vector ab is equal to minus of vector ba i can write how <laughs> ab is a vector ba is negative of it it is in the opposite direction if you multiply with minus what happens its direction changes its direction changes we can write here vector ab is equal to minus of vector ba and vector ba is equal to i can write minus of vector ab also yes fine definition negative of a vector a vector a vector having a vector having the same magnitude same magnitude but opposite direction opposite direction as that of as that of given vector as that of given vector is called as is called as negative of the given vector is called as negative of given vector negative of a vector is defined for particular vectors if a vector is given for that vector we can write the negative we can't define it in general okay this is about a negative of a vector with this we have come to know about total six types of vectors all those are very much important and those definitions are important okay now let us take examples on the concepts we have studied example 1 number 1 example number 1 it is saying represent graphically represent graphically a displacement of a displacement of a displacement of 40 kilometers a displacement of 40 kilometers 30 degree 30 degree west of south 30 degree west of south see what is our question our question is representing a vector graphically graphically we need to represent a vector yes fine and a vector in the sense it should have direction and a magnitude this is y axis and x axis a displacement of 40 km 40 km what it is it is magnitude of the vector 
and what is its direction its direction is 30 degree west of south where will be the south see i will take the directions here this is north south east west we know it and 30 degree west of south from south towards the west how many degrees 30 degree yes here it is this is how much 30 degree 40 kilometer i have to represent 40 kilometer in the sense let me take units like this one unit two unit three units and four unit you should write a straight line here you should not write it like this three units and uh, four units okay and uh, please maintain equal distances here this is about a uh, 40 kilometer if you want you can write the scale also what is that scale we will write one unit i have taken you know one unit is equal to 10 kilometer yes that one unit we used to represent like this one unit is equal to 10 kilometers means uh, graphically we are representing a vector here which has the magnitude of 40 kilometers 10 20 30 40 kilometers and the direction is how much direction is 30 degree west of south and which direction where we have to represent we have to represent it like this starting from the point and ending at this okay this is about an example one next let us go to example two clarify the following measures as scalars and vectors example two clarify the following measures as scalars and vectors okay. in that they are given you first one 5 seconds 5 seconds second one 1000 centimeter cube let me write this 5 seconds what it is it is a time it has no direction only 5 seconds 10 seconds 30 seconds like that we say there is no particular direction so this is what this is a scalar quantity what about the 1000 centimeter cube 1000 centimeter cube in the sense it is volume one box is there means one box is there 10 meter uh, sorry it is in centimeters you know 10 centimeter 10 centimeter into 10 centimeter that box is there in the sense we used to say here is 1000 centimeter cube volume box it is so 1000 centimeter cube it is a scalar again there is no what there is no direction for this now coming to the third one third one is 10 newton 10 newton 10 newton what is this 10 newton 10 newton is a force how will you apply a force we will apply a force in a particular direction so it has a direction and a magnitude 10 newton is a force which is vector quantity now coming to the fourth one fourth one it is given 30 kilometer per hour 30 kilometer per hour 30 kilometer per hour you see simply it is given 30 kilometer per hour there is no direction which direction it is going in all it is a speed speed is scalar quantity speed is scalar quantity it has only magnitude no direction now coming to the fifth one that is uh, 10 gram per centimeter cube 10 gram per centimeter cube gram per centimeter cube is what it is density density has no direction hence it is a scalar quantity now coming to the sixth one sixth one is that 20 meter per second towards north 20 meter per second towards north what does it say if you draw a map like this 
it is north south east and west in this they are saying 20 k 20 meter per second means uh, there is a object which is, which is moving 20 meters per second 20 meters per second towards north there is a direction for that and this is magnitude and towards north is direction so what it is it is velocity of a particle means uh, this is a vector quantity this is about uh, example 2 now let us take the next example that is example 3 example 3 is which of the following vectors are which of the following vectors are vectors are first one collinear collinear next second one equal third one co initial co initial and then a diagram is given diagram is given like this we have to write a straight line clearly okay this is they are naming as vector d and here is vector c and here is here is vector a and here is vector b vector b yes i have written it correctly what does it indicate see this single bar is there you know it, indi it indicates that in magnitude these two are equal in length and what about this b and d b and d also double bars are there you know so in magnitude these two are equal in length that one they are saying now you see we need to say what are the vectors collinear collinear means i told you they should have same line of support parallel vectors irrespective of their magnitude and direction you observe vector a vector c and vector d do they have the same li same line of support or not yes they all have same line of support their magnitude and direction are not at all required for me so co initial vectors are vector a comma vector c and vector d now what are the equal vectors equal vectors in the sense i told you they should have same magnitude and same direction vector a and c you observe vector a and c have the same direction this side and what about their magnitude their magnitude are, are also equal so a and c are the equal vectors next third one co initial vectors what do you mean by co initial vectors co initial in the sense vectors having the same initial point what are the vectors have the same initial point here you observe the vector b c and d all are originating from the single point all are originating from the same point therefore co initial vectors are vector b comma vector c and vector d all these are co initial vectors yes this is about example 3 exercise 10.1 is very much easy i want you to try all the problems of exercise 10.1 if possible i will solve in the next class thank you